guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make my rectangular shawl. I am so excited that I have finished it and I finally get to share it with you. Oh my gosh, this shawl might actually be one of my favorite shawls that I have made. It is absolutely beautiful and check this out, guys. What do you think? It's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Okay, so when I show you how to make the shawl, I'm going to show you in sections. So there's actually three sections. I have this section right here, which is just single crochet back loops only. Then I'm going to show you how to go into section two, this main section, which is just the eyelet blocks pattern, crochet pattern. And the eyelet blocks pattern is actually done in four different repeating rows. So I'm going to show you row one, row two, row three, row four, and then you repeat row one, row two, row three, row four. And once I'm sure you're comfortable with that, we will move over to section three, which is just symmetry in the shawl, guys. Single crochet back loop only, but you attach it to the work as you are creating it all the way down. It's really simple. I just want to make sure that you have a handle on it before I let you go. And if you want to do French, you can. It's up to you. Personalize it however you want. If at any point in this video you do like what you see, please push the thumbs up button. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I release two brand new videos every single week covering a wide range of different types of crochet projects and you are not going to want to miss out. So let's go ahead and move on to what materials you're going to need to make this beautiful shawl. The materials that I use to make the Monet rectangular shawl was a size four weighted yarn. I used approximately 1,052 yards of yarn to make my shawl. That's including the fringe. Um, most specifically, I used this yarn right here to make the shawl that I just showed you in the beginning intro of the video. It is Red Heart Roll With It Melange in the color Green Room. Okay, in this video, I'm going to be showing you the demonstration off of Red Heart Roll With It Melange in curtain call, okay? When I made this shawl, I used three skeins of this exact yarn. I used two skeins completely, and this is what was left over on that third skein. I could have added more rows in the middle of the shawl to expand that shawl, use up more yarn, more material, but I really liked the length that I stopped at. It just seemed to fit me better, but you can choose if you want to add a few more rows. You're going to need a crochet hook size I9 or 5.25 millimeters, a pair of scissors, and the tape measure is just if you want to cut the fringe, making sure each strip is the exact same length. Go ahead and also print off the pattern that I put in the note section below. There should be a link that will take you directly to the pattern that you can print off for free. Sound good? Okay, go ahead and gather all of your things and I will see you in a second to start making this beautiful shawl. Okay, so section one of our shawl, we're gonna take our yarn, just using a tiny tail right there, make a slip knot, go ahead and put it on our crochet hook. Great. You're going to chain 30 chains. One, two, three, 28, 29, 30. Great, okay. So now you're going to go ahead and go on to row one. This is your row one. Your foundation row does not count as row one. You're going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook, insert your crochet hook, and you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way down. You should end with 29 single crochets. So one, two, three, 26, 27, 28, 29, chain one, turn our work. Okay, so for row two through row 86, yeah, 86, we're going to single crochet in the back loop only of every row, okay? So when you are doing a single crochet back loop only, you're looking for the top of your stitch. You're looking for that V shape at the top. You're gonna insert your crochet hook in the back loop only. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. And then next stitch, insert your crochet hook in the top of that V. Go through the back loop only. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. 
those, that's how you do a single crochet back loop only. You're going to repeat that process all the way down this entire row. Then you're going to chain one, turn your work, and just continue doing a single crochet back loop only for every row through the end of row 86, okay? All right, guys, at this point, you have finished your 86 rows of single crochet back loops only. Great job. That was that was a, a lot of work, took some time. Super easy, but just took some time, so good job on that. For your second step, we are going to go ahead and turn our work sideways. We've been working like this, back and forth, back and forth. Now we're going to start working along the side of your rows. So we're going to turn our work this way. We're going to chain one to set ourselves up and we're going to put one single crochet in the side of each row all the way down to the end. We should end, we need to end with 86 single crochets down the side of this row. Okay, we'll be able to identify by using the ridges, we're really able to identify where our rows are. So one, two, three, four, three, 84, 85, and even this little bit right here, just make sure 86. It's super important that we make sure there are 86 single crochets along the side here because the eyelet blocks st crochet stitch is in a multiple of eight plus six. That is also going to be a good point if you want to make this part, section one, a bigger or smaller. You need to make sure that whatever count of rows that you have in section one is going to be in a multiple of eight plus six. The easiest way that I, the easiest number I came up with was 86. Makes sense, right? Okay, so we are now working the eyelet blocks crochet stitch. Chain three, one, two, three, turn our work. Okay, so row one for our eyelet blocks crochet stitch. We're going to skip three stitches, one, two, three, and single crochet in the fourth stitch. Then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, skip three stitches one, two, three, and single crochet in the fourth stitch, and repeat that all the way across, one, two, three chains, and skip three stitches, one, two, three, and single crochet in the fourth stitch. All right, the last few, one, two, three, we're going to just single crochet in the very last stitch here, okay? So this is going to help make everything just cleaned up if you have less stitches between the last three chains, like maybe you only have two stitches here, or you have three stitches here because you had an extra row. This just helps to make sure everything is even. Just go ahead and single crochet in that very last stitch. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, turn our work. That first three chains in the beginning of this row counts as your very first double crochet, okay? We're going to put four double crochets inside this chain three section right here. One double crochet, two double crochets, three, four, chain one, one double crochet in the next chain three section, chain one, and then four double crochets in the next chain three section, one, two, three, four, chain one, one double crochet in the next chain three section, 
one, chain one, and you repeat. So it's going to go four double crochets, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, four double crochets, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, and you repeat that pattern all the way across to the very end. And I will meet you at the end. One. All right, I'm gonna chain one here and I'm going to do one double crochet in the very last stitch to close off this row. This is row two. Okay, for row three, we're gonna chain one, going to turn our work. We will put one single crochet in the first stitch. We will chain three, one, two, three. And in this case, our very first section was a one double crochet in that chain three. So we're going to go on the other side of that double crochet and we're going to put one single crochet in that gap space opening. We're going to chain three, one, two, three. We're going to go over this group of four into this space right here and we're going to single crochet. Great. Chain three, one, two, three. We're going to hop over this one double crochet into this space right here. One single crochet, chain three, hop over the group of four, one single crochet, chain three, one, two, three, hop over this one double crochet into this right here and single crochet and repeat that all the way across. Chain three, skip over this group. Okay, the last section guys, we're gonna chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to skip the first four double crochets. So one, two, three, four, and we're gonna single crochet on the top of that fifth double crochet or the top of that very last stitch. Okay, and that closes off row three. What you should notice is that on top of each section, there is now a chain three. Okay, that was that's what we were hoping for. Chain four this time. One, two, three, four, turn our work. Okay, the four chains count as the first three, the first three chains count as the first double crochet, and that fourth chain counts as the chain one. We're going to put one double crochet in that chain three spot. Okay, chain one, and in the next chain three spot, we're going to put four double crochets. One, two, three, four, chain one. In this chain three spot, we're putting one double crochet. One, chain one. In the next chain three spot, we're putting four double crochets. One, two, three, four. And I'm gonna put this down so you can see the pattern for a second. So we started with one double crochet and then four double crochet and then one double crochet and then four double crochet. And you're going to repeat this pattern all the way across for row four. It's gonna go one, then four, then one, then four. What you might also notice, guys, is in the pattern below, it's the opposite. So in this pattern, it's four, then one, then four, then one. So it just went opposite. So it's just the pattern switched. Okay, so right now we're on row four. I want you to just continue to interchange. So chain one, 
one double crochet, chain one, and the next section of three, next chain three section is four double crochets. One, two, three, four. So go ahead guys, repeat this pattern all the way to the very end of row four. Okay, so last section is going to be four double crochets. One, two, three, four, and we're going to put one double crochet in that very last stitch. Great. Okay, so because we just did a row of pattern, the next row after this is going to be a row of chain threes. So we're going to chain one, turn our work. Okay, we're going to single crochet in that very first stitch and then chain three. So we're on row five right now. One, two, three. Okay, we skip that group of four in that very first chain one space. We're gonna put one single crochet chain three, one, two, three. In the very next chain one space, we're gonna put one single crochet, chain three, one, two, three. Skip that group of four to the next chain one space, one single crochet, chain three, one, two, three. Single crochet in the next chain one space, and repeat that guys, all the way to the very end of row five. All right, last group, one, two, three, next chain one spot, great. And then we're gonna find the top of that chain three, one, two, three, and we're going to single crochet in that third chain. Great job guys, okay. Let's pause. I want you to look at what we've done so far. We have just done row one, was chain three, then single crochet, okay? Row two started with four double crochets, then chain one, one double crochet, chain one, four, chain one, one, chain one, four. And that was the repeating pattern for row two. Row three was single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three. Row four was this row right here with the pattern where we went chain four, that counted as the first double crochet and chain one, one double crochet, chain one, four, chain one, one, chain one, four, chain one, one, chain one, four. And that was the repeat pattern for row four. Row five was our single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three. What you might notice is whenever we are on an odd number row, you're going to do the single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three, okay? Whenever you're on an even number row, you're going to be doing the pattern of either group of four or one, group of four or one. And this is a pattern in itself. So four, then single, then four, then single. There's lots of pattern in here, and I'm gonna make sure that in the, the written pattern that I'm gonna have you follow, I'm gonna make sure that it's very clear what you're doing step by step. So you're going to just keep repeating this. I just finished row five. Row five is an odd number row, so that means I did the single crochet chain threes all the way across. I'm looking at the row that I had right below. There was a single, so I know that the row I'm about to go into, row six, has got to start with, ah, a group of four. If your row starts with a group of four, you're only going to chain three. One, two, three. Because that first chain three counts as your first double crochet. And I'm going to start with four double crochets in that very first chain three section. 
one, two, three, four. Okay, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, four, one, two, three, four, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, four, chain one, one double crochet, chain one, and then one double crochet in that last stitch. We're gonna move on to row seven. Row seven is an odd number row, guys, so we know we're gonna chain one, turn our work. Okay, odd number row, row seven is just one single crochet in the first stitch, chain three, one, two, three, Next chain one spot, one single crochet. Chain three, next chain one, single crochet. Chain three, next chain one spot, one single crochet. Chain three, all right, one, two, three, and I'm going to single crochet in the top of the third chain. So one, two, three, single crochet right there, guys. So I skipped one, skipped two, skipped three, skipped four double crochets, and I crocheted on the top of that fifth double crochet. Okay, so that was row seven. Row eight is going to be pattern row. I see below was a group of four. So I know that the next pattern row will begin with one double crochet in the next row. For row eight, I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. The first three, one, two, three, will count as a double crochet. The fourth chain will count as the chain one before my one double crochet. That will go into this spot. Okay, then chain one. Next group of three will be my four double crochets. One, two, three, four. And then we just repeat this pattern all the way down, guys. One, two, three, Four and one double crochet in that very last stitch. Perfect. Okay, so that was row eight. We're about to go to row nine. Row nine is an odd number row, so that means that we're just going to chain one, turn our work, one single crochet in the very first stitch, and then chain three, one, two, three, and one single crochet in the chain one spot and repeat that all the way to the end of row nine. Boom, right there. Okay, guys, I feel like I am ready to let you loose to go and finish the rest of the middle section, the second section on your own. Just remember, it's a repeat pattern from row two to row five. So row two is pattern, Row three was the single crochet and then chain three, single crochet, chain three. Row four was pattern. Row five is single crochet, chain three, single crochet, chain three. So you just repeat these rows, row two, three, four, five, then two, three, four, five, then two, three, four, five, then two, three, four, five. And those are the repeating rows, guys. Okay, and again, if you want to count to make sure you know what row you're on, just know that this first gap was row one, this first pattern section was row two, then row three, then pattern section row four, gap row five, pattern section row six, or you could just look at the patterns and go, so that was two, four, six, eight, 
10, 12, 14, 16, and just count your rows that way, okay? I made my second section, this uh, eyelet blocks pattern section, 109 rows long, okay? So I made this section right here, 109 rows long. You can make it longer if you want. You can make it shorter if you want. That is going to be completely up to you. You are not going to affect anything other than how long your shawl is going to be. Okay, it's not going to affect any pattern, just the look of your shawl. That's it. One important thing is wherever you end your second section, you need to make sure that it has ended on an odd number row. We need for you to have the single crochet one, chain three single cro crochet one, chain three. We need you to end on one of these odd rows because I'm gonna show you what we're going to do for section three right now, okay? So for section three, what you will do once you finish section two, you're going to chain one, you're going to turn your work, you're going to single crochet in the very first stitch, and then you're gonna put three single crochets in every chain three section. So one, two, three, and then one single crochet on top of the one single crochet, and then three single crochets in each section. One, two, three, okay? And just repeat this. So. On top of the single crochet, you're going to single crochet. In each chain three section, you're going to put three chain, uh, three single crochets. One, two, three. Okay, guys, in this very last section, we're actually going to go ahead and put four single crochets in this last section to keep the count. I don't know if you had noticed, but we are making... 86 single crochets along this line to match the 86 rows that were in our first section, okay? So in order to do that, we need to put four single crochets in this last chain three section, okay? End with one single crochet. And now we are ready for our last section, guys. We're gonna go ahead and chain 30. One, two, three, and 30. Single crochet in the second chain from our hook. Okay, and single crochet in each stitch all the way to the very base. So there should be a total of 29 single crochets. Two, three, 28 and 29. Great. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move my shawl this way. That way I can line these guys up. Okay, so I just finished my 29th single crochet on my 29th chain. I'm going to slip stitch into that very first single crochet of the body of my shawl slip stitch. Okay, I'm going to slip stitch into the second stitch of the body of my shawl. Slip stitch. So it goes slip stitch, slip stitch. Then turning our work. So we're looking back at our row of single crochets here. I'm going to single crochet in the back loops only. Okay. Make sure we count our stitches. That's going to be very, very important. That way, if you accidentally did put a single crochet in this slip stitch and ended with 30 single crochets, you'd be like, wait a minute, that's wrong. There's not supposed to be 30. There's only supposed to be 29. Okay. So starting with this stitch right here, very top where we find our V, back loop only, single crochet. So make sure you count so you can get an idea, see a visual of what you're looking for. So one, two, three, 28 and 29. Great, we're on count, perfect. Okay, we're gonna chain one, turn our work, 
We're going to single crochet back loops only all the way back along to the main body of the shawl. Again, counting 29. Two, three, 27, 28, 29. Okay, great. We are butted back up to the body of our shawl. Make sure that this isn't twisted, that we haven't got like something like that going on. We, we don't want anything like this happening. Make sure it's laying flat. Here is this section and how it's butted up against my shawl is flat. We're going to slip stitch into the next stitch of the body of the work. Going to slip stitch in the following stitch. Again, there's two slip stitches and then we turn back for our next row. So just to reiterate, you finish this row, uh, straighten it all out. You finish this row headed back towards the body of your shawl. Once you hit your shawl, or come upon your shawl, you're going to slip stitch into the next free available stitch and this next stitch after that you're going to slip stitch into. Okay, and then you're going to turn your work and go back into this section right here where you're doing single crochet back loops only. And I mean it guys, you might want to do a count check for the first few rows because that one row that you end up having like 33 single crochets and you're going to be like, why is it so long? I don't understand. Why is it so lopsided? It's because you probably accidentally slip, uh, single crocheted into your slip stitch on the body of your work. Whoops. I could see that happening. So just make sure that the first few rows absolutely for sure you are counting to make sure that there are 29 single crochets in this section. Keep on count. Okay. And then once you are all done with the 86th row and you have completed this whole section all the way down, I'll show you the fringe right now. Okay, so fringe. When it comes to your fringe, you're going to grab your tape measure, grab your scissors, grab your yarn. All right, so you're going to cut each strip into 12 inch or 12 inches long. Okay, so 12 inches long. Lay the yarn on top. Don't pull it tight because if you pull it tight, when you cut it, it's going to recoil and it's not going to stay the same measurement that you thought it was. So just lay it on the tape measure and cut 12 inches. And that is one string. Okay. You want to cut uh, 176 of these strings. Okay. So go ahead and take a second and cut 176 of these strings. Okay, so once you've cut 176 strings, you're going to put them in piles of two or you're just going to grab two strings. That's totally fine. Fold them in half. Okay, find your work. So I put two strings in the very side most section, my crochet hook, grab the yarn, pull through, grab the yarn, pull that up a little bit, pull that through like that there. Then I put two strips in each little mountain top part. I don't put two strips in, in the side of each row. I only put two strips in the side of each peak. So right here, right here, let me go ahead and grab two more strips. So not the next stitch, but the stitch after that. So basically along with the peak. just like that. Okay. Then skip the next stitch. So basically every other stitch I am putting a fringe. Now you can 
do yours however you want it. You do not have to copy me on the fringe, okay? If you have a different, better way you want to do it, if you want to add more, less, longer strips, shorter strips, this is your shawl. So you go ahead and make it however you want it to look. But this is how I really liked my fringe on this particular shawl. So once you have finished putting all of these fringe on the edge of your shawl, your shawl's done. You did a fantastic job. Way to hang in there. Your shawl is absolutely stunning and I can't wait for you to show me pictures. Please, please, please take pictures of your finished shawl and show me, please. I would love to see them. Great job, everybody. I'm so excited to have made this with you. All right, guys, that is it. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, you might also really like these other shawl videos that I've made. Also, check out this video, which is just a recommended video for you to watch. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. I always love crocheting with you. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you with my next video. Bye, guys.